Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. Hey guys, what's up? Topical Nate here with Strange Wing, and today we're reacting to trailer number one for Old. Q Old Joke. I feel old because every time I go out, I see all these kids sitting together on social media on their phones. But we also have social media, and it's in the description box below. So I ain't that old. And he also has social media, so he ain't that old either. Sure. But he's getting there. He had to get a walker to come in here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we also have a coffee account, so donate some money to the coffee account to help the channel grow. Also, Patreon, same thing. Become a patron, help the channel grow, get some exclusive content. The money, again, it helps the channel grow. Buy him, like, new tennis balls for his walker. <laughs> Buy, help him with his heart medicine. They're getting dirty. You know, like... He probably needs some oatmeal. That's what old people eat, right? No, I got oatmeal in the cabinet. You eat oatmeal? Yeah, I love For oatmeal. Real? It's good. Like, what type of oatmeal? Brown sugar cinnamon. Do you, like, deviate from it? Or are you strictly a brown sugar cinnamon type strictly oatmeal Strictly brown guy? sugar cinnamon. The apple cinnamon is okay, but I just eat the, like, instant Quaker oatmeal and the, like, little freeze-dried apple chunks that are in it. Not yeah. a fan. I don't need I don't need oatmeal. I eat grits. I'm grits. from the oh, south. I got those in there too. You fucking put some cheese in them bitches, some jelly, some syrup, you know. Mm. It never gets old. Whack. No kids allowed on the beach. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. Is that as funny bad as it was to me? Don't like that. What happens at home? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck you think you was gonna find? Body has decomposed. Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> She's like, fuck this, I'm out. When it comes to M. Night Shyamalan, it's, it's, not, it's pretty cut and dry, you know? It's going to be a hit or a miss. Yeah. To me, personally, based on what I saw in this trailer, it looks like a miss. The dialogue, the acting, it looked very corny. Yeah. And the premise, I guess, is a good idea. For a movie, I think it might be a little too long. Like, I got a Goosebumps episode runtime right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This would be cool for Goosebumps, Twilight Zone. For a movie, that's a lot of runtime. I don't think it's going to captivate it throughout. 
Because something like this, you don't need to know. It's better left like a mystery, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe. Like, they can escape, but they don't need to find a hidden trail and, like, find the answers. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. No, I want to know. I'm too curious, but I'm a nosy motherfucker. Yeah, you see that fucking honker on him? Uh, he can smell what the rock is cooking yeah. all the way from here. It's about the size of your forehead. Uh, so... Yeah. I mean, of course, not too big. <laughs> That's a regular size forehead. Uh, yeah. So my thing is, like, just questions. And I am nosy. And now that you've put a thousand questions, I want to know the answers. Now, the question is, will I go watch the movie to find the answers? Or am I going to go look at the plot on Wikipedia just so I can know? And then not have to worry about it. It seemed interesting enough to me, right? And I agree with you, like, Shyamalan is, like, super hit or miss. Uh, and I don't know what this one is going to be, but as far as the runtime goes, I don't think that's going to be a problem, because the thing is, is, like, you're on a clock now, right? Yeah. Everybody's aging at, like, a really fast rate. So, like, you only have a set amount of time to, like, figure out what's going on before something happens. And the thing is, is, like, all the adults are already way older than the kids, right? So it's, like... And it seems like the older you are, the slower the aging thing affects you. So, but inevitably, some of the old people are going to die. And it's just going to be up to the kids to figure it out on their own. Yeah, you're probably right. But they're still kids. I'm like, I don't know. So, like, does your mind age with you? It doesn't seem like it. So, it's like now they're just like a bunch of literal children in adult bodies trying to figure out what the heck's going on. So, I'm interested. How do you think... Just every, for the questions alone. Like, I'm not disagreeing with your point about, like, the acting or the script at all. It's just the premise is interesting enough for me to want to see it. How do you think M. Night Shyamalan came up with this? He watched Big and had, like, a nightmare afterwards. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. movie. How can I take this classic, fun Tom Hanks movie and make it just t a terrifying premise? Yeah. I mean, I, want, I mean, I don't even think it was, like, terrifying. It's just, like... I mean, really? if I was stuck on a beach and was rapidly aging for no explainable reason, and then every fucking time we tried to escape, I'm like, talking about we watching that as a movie. And died, and then there's dead bodies in the fucking water, and six and a half hours later. But I'm talking about watching this as a movie, not being in a situation. My biggest fear is growing old. I want to live to a hundred. You know, like I want to have a full, long, prosperous life. With a lot of different lady friends in my life, and a lot of different movies, and a lot of good Uno games. Very similar, that's all I want. But tell me what you want. Do you want to watch this movie? Do you not want to watch this movie? That's what the comment section is for. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red stick.